Planting for Food and Jobs This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Planning Pepper Production It is important to plan the production of pepper so as to realize optimum yields and maximize profits. Before engaging in the growing of pepper, consider the following factors. A. Target Market Pepper can be produced for both local and export markets. Producers should always identify potential buyers before commencing production activities. B. Ecological conditions Rainfall, soil condition and temperature of the environment. C. Block history Factors such as recent crop cultivated on the field, pest and disease incidences and pollution need to be considered before commencing production. Planting for food and jobs. This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Suitable varieties. The varieties of hot pepper are Legon 18, Long Red Cayenne, Bird's Eye, M12, Scotch Bonnet, Pakposheto, Jalapeno, Fresno. The varieties of sweet pepper are King Arthur, Florida Giant, California Wonder, Red Knight, Cauliflower Wonder, Early Carl Wonder, Chinese Wonder. Yolo Giant Planting for Food and Jobs This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Source of Seeds Advise farmers to use certified seeds from reputable seed companies. Planting for Food and Jobs This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Climate and Soil Requirements Chili peppers require sunny, semi-tropic or tropical conditions and annual rainfall of between 600 mm and 1,250 mm. Ideal temperature for good growth is 18 to 32 degrees Celsius. Low humidity will drop flower buds, resulting in bad fruit set. Planting for Food and Jobs This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Site Selection Peppers grow best in sandy loams with lots of organic matter. Select well-drained land with a gentle slope and soils with a pH of 5.0 to 5.7. That is slightly acidic to neutral. Always note, avoid or sterilize soils previously planted with tomato, garden eggs, okra or papaya within the last four years. Planting for food and jobs. This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Land preparation. The land should be clear of trees, grasses and root stumps. A well decomposed manure or compost at 3 to 10 kilograms per meter square should be plowed in 3 to 6 weeks before planting. Planting for food and jobs. This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Raising seedlings. 
Sow one seed per cell, that is seed trays, or broadcast the seed slightly in a seed bed and cover with one centimeter layer of soil. On the seed bed, cover with non-seeded dry grass or palm fronds until seeds emerge and cover the bed with an insect proof net or sow them inside a greenhouse or screen house. Upon emergence, water the seedlings thoroughly every morning or as needed using a fine sprinkler. Avoid overwatering to prevent damping off. Should this occur, drench with an approved fungicide. Planting for food and jobs. This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Transplanting. Transplant seedlings at five true leaf stage in the cool of the day or late afternoon. The soil should be moist and of a fine tilt. Spacing for some hot pepper varieties. Cayenne or Legon 18. 60 by 60 centimeters. Jalapeno. 60 by 30 centimeters. Fresno. 70 by 50 centimeters. Scotch Bonnet. 70 by 50 centimeters. Bird's Eye. 60 by 30 centimeters. And Sweet Pepper. 60 by 60 centimeters. Planting for food and jobs. This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Nutrient Management. Always test soil to determine the fertility status of the soil. Fertilizer application. At transplanting, water seedlings with a starter solution of 5 grams per liter NPK 15-15-15 or 3 grams per liter diammonium phosphate or any commercial fertilizer rich in phosphorus and nitrogen. Two weeks before transplanting, apply a mixture of 6 grams, that is 2 crown caps NPK 15-15-15 and 3 grams, that is 1 crown cap ammonium sulfate per plant. At flowering, side dress 3 gram potassium nitrate. Repeat at 2 weeks intervals. Apply high calcium foliar fertilizers containing boron every two weeks following manufacturer's instructions. After each harvest, apply 3 grams potassium nitrate or ammonium sulfate and irrigate to prolong harvesting period. Planting for food and jobs. This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Mulching. Mulch to conserve moisture, soil, Reduce weed competition, erosion and soil compaction. Use rice straw, 5 tons per hectare, or organic material, polythene sheet, or a combination of materials. Where plastic mulch is used, lay before transplanting. Planting for food and jobs. This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Irrigation. Provide supplementary irrigation to maintain a good moisture level throughout the growth period, especially during flowering and fruit development. Planting for food and jobs. This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Weed control. Keep the field free of weeds with interroll cultivators. By applying approved pre- and post-emergent herbicides. Hoeing and hand-picking. Avoid damaging plant roots. Planting for food and jobs. This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Staking. Plants may be staked to prevent lodging, particularly when they have a heavy load of fruits. Planting for food and jobs. 
This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Harvesting Peppers are ready for harvesting 6 to 8 weeks after transplanting. Harvest red pepper or green depending on market demand. To harvest, snap the fruit stalk from the stem by hand. Planting for food and jobs this training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Yields Yields vary depending on cultivar and management practices. 10 to 22 metric tons per hectare are achievable. Planting for food and jobs. This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Major pests are aphids termites, broad mites, and trips. 1. Anthracnose may occur in the field or develop as a post-harvest decay of pepper fruits. To control anthracnose, use pathogen-free seed and rotate crops. Fungicides can reduce losses. 2. Bacterial spots Small water-soaked spots on leaves become necrotic with yellow borders. To control, rotate pepper with other non-susceptible crops. Sprays of copper-based fungicides will reduce damage. 3. Bacterial wilt The initial symptom is wilting of lower leaves followed by a sudden and permanent wilt of the entire plant without yellowing. To control, use pathogen-free seed beds to produce disease-free transplants. Fumigate seed beds and sterilize the planting medium for container-grown plants. Use raised beds to facilitate drainage. 4. Phytophthora blight. The most common symptom is a stem or collar rot, followed by sudden wilting without foliar yellowing. This is controlled through the use of resistant cultivars, raised beds, crop rotation and fungicides. Planting for food and jobs. This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture.